had never heard of such a thing when they told me flesh-eating bacteria. A Knoxville woman is still gaining back feeling in her hands after multiple surgeries to stop a flesh-eating bacteria in her system. She says she contracted it at a local nail salon. Now, anyone can catch an infection like this, but some are more susceptible than others. We want to warn you, some of the photos we're about to show you are graphic. 10 News reporter Shannon Smith walks us through her story. Shannon. Beth Robin, these are Jane Sharp's thumbs. On the right, you see a normal thumb. On the left, this is her thumb after several surgeries to remove a flesh eating bacteria. Sharp says going through this medical nightmare is changing her life in a lot of ways. Jane Sharp is a mother, grandmother, and working woman. As a dental hygienist, I, I entertain all the time, play cards. Those things are a little harder to do now. I can't shuffle cards when I play bridge. For a while, she could barely use her right hand. I couldn't even floss my own teeth. <laughs> Sharp is smiling now, but this spring she wasn't sure she'd still be alive. It started with a manicure at Jazzy Nail Bar in Turkey Creek. While I was there, I got stuck on my thumb and I went ouch, but I went back to looking at my telephone. Later that day, her thumb started throbbing and then she couldn't sleep. She felt so sick. She thought it was the flu. Flu test comes back negative and I think you might be getting the symptoms from your thumb. She was. They had to open my hand up and my thumb up to clean the infection out. It was necrotizing fasciitis, better known as flesh eating bacteria. The images got even harder to look at from here. The mortality rate can be up to 80% if it's not treated very promptly. Dr. Udit Chadhuri with Summit Medical is Sharp's doctor through this process. She could have lost her finger, her arm, if she hadn't been diagnosed properly. Sharp never thought something like this could come from a cut during a manicure. I had never heard of such a thing when they told me flesh eating bacteria. Chadhuri says this is very rare, but people with compromised immune systems are more likely to contract it. Sharp falls in that category. She is a diabetic, so that made her more susceptible, yes. She's gaining feeling back in her hand, but still has a long way to go. My life took a total turn. Now, I talked to a manager at Jazzy Nail Bar today who says they had a state inspection just days after Sharp reported this and they passed with no issues. He says they clean their tools the way that the state mandates. Robin, Beth, Shannon, thank you. Another hot day. This is a look at your Alcoa 